What's up guys, Cedric here over at Bearcrafted. Um, just giving you a little update on our table building project. Um, if you see behind me, we have all of our boards and they have been duly uh, tracks on and we've jointed the edges so that they're perfect 90 degrees to each other and we have perfectly great glueable edges. Um, so we're gonna start moving into the joinery phase of the whole project. And for that, I've gone and very recently secured myself. Let me turn that around. Oh, Festool DF700 EQ. Domino, domino joiner. Very cool. This is going to make knocking together tables and chairs and all kinds of other projects so much easier and so much faster when you don't have to sit there and uh, hand cut mortises and give up years of your time. Because it's all about time. And time is money and I like money. So hopefully got that. Also picked up over in the distance there we have the Festool RL150 sander. That's going to come in super handy when we move on to finishing this bad boy, but let's get a better look at this table right now. Let's put this down here. So it might be kind of hard to see with all the chalk marks and footprints and whatnot, but all of the planning that went into this table the rewards are starting to show now because the grain on all of these boards matches beautifully and we're right on dimension which is really really good when you're dealing with um, a lot of rough sawn slab lumber you know sometimes if it's close you lose so much through the dimensioning process that you might end up a little undersized and I was really worried about that for this table but it's looking really good also, I picked up this steel base that I had welded by my buddy Trevor over at, I believe it's K&S Welding here in uh, Rancho Cordova, California. Um, I will double check on that name and add it to the show notes for you. Um, it's really beautiful. I designed this up in CAD and he had a couple of hiccups getting some of the plates welded together, but it's, it's right on dimension and exactly how I asked for it. Um, all steel tubing. We're gonna do a lot of uh, distressing and kind of stripping of this to make it look a little bit older, not so shiny and perfectly clean. And we even got some adjustable feet on there. Sorry about the mess. Today was kind of a clean out day, so I've moved all the scraps to the front of the shop. So yeah, that's where we're at. I will add some more footage of the, the domino in action. But I hope you guys really are enjoying the series and keep tuning in because things are only getting more exciting from here. Talk to you soon. Thanks for watching.